Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a four-card spread. This is for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is who is thinking about you. So I pulled four cards for you, and here we have the three of swords. So I'm seeing this is you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you, or this is the person that could have broken your heart as a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But this, when there's a three of swords, it represents a third party. I am seeing a third party was involved. This is in the past position. So you could have um, been involved with someone that was involved with someone else. And they were lying to you. I see separation, like with fights or argument, breakup of a friendship. This also could mean the breakup of a friendship or... Um, let me fix this light. Or, um, you know, someone that came in and hurt your feelings or it could be a sibling or some type of partnership, maybe at work, a uh, friendship, a best friend, you know, somebody like that. And I see it was due to a misfortune, a loved one that was separated by war. Or I'm also seeing war for some reason, some kind of strife, uh, somebody lying, cheating, not telling the truth. Um, there was, a, the, this card has a lot of sorrow, a lot of sorrow to it. So maybe in the past position, you got your heart broken by someone. This card is the card of heartache and disappointment. So I'm seeing that someone in the past broke your heart or hurt you in some kind of way. Now, if you're still attached with someone, then maybe it's representing, um, someone else that hurt you, like a brother or sister or sibling, cousin, someone at work or something like that. Before I go any further, y'all, this video is not made for kids. This channel is my brand, and you do not have permission to copy any of it for any reason whatsoever. The information does come from the spirit guides, from my uh, spirit guides, from my tarot cards, and my own psychic abilities. If you like it, fine, and if you don't, click off. Simple as that. All right, let's keep going. Now, because of this, I'm seeing the two of you had a split. So here... Um, the Two of Cups represents, again, you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you had made a commitment to each other in the past, and everything was going good. There's an infinity sign, meaning it was going on and on, and it was great. This person had leaned in to you. See how he's leaning in, and his hand's right here offering the cup of love, and you were offering it back. But now it's in the reverse because of the breakup. So with the... Cups being in the reverse, that represents there's no communication. Um, you're not getting along anymore. Um, I am seeing that this relationship has no more power. It's run out of its karmic cycle. It's like a karmic cycle that closed. Um, I'm seeing some of you, one of you, either you or the other person was being stubborn, unwilling to give assistance. Um, if the, unwilling to give assistance is more to me like a, a work partnership or something like that. Um, or the other person wasn't putting in their 50% worth in. Um, yeah. So I'm seeing someone that was, had their, had their emotions run away with them. Maybe they were being too sensitive. Um, and it just, there wasn't no balance. I don't see any balance. I didn't see, I don't see communication. There wasn't no, a lot of communication where there needed to be. Um, I'm seeing also the loss of a close friendship. Also, this could mean the loss of a close friendship. I'm seeing that there needs to be, uh, more understanding. And I'm seeing someone that's very jealous and possessive. Someone uh, like didn't believe you when you told them that you were going to the store. They actually thought you were going somebody else, someplace else. So maybe they would follow you around, check up on you, or uh, you know have somebody else follow you. Um, yeah. So and uh, and then if you haven't broke up, this card also represents people that are about to break up. Maybe you're on the point of breaking up or on the verge of breaking up also. Yeah. So I'm seeing that someone that was overly passionate, maybe clingy, too clingy for the other person, especially if you're a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and you're involved with an air sign, which is this right here. This is a Gemini, Lima, Aquarius. It's an air sign. They don't like clinginess. They don't like people to cling to them. That's why they're the air sign. Air moves around a lot. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Lima, Aquarius don't mix well because they're an air sign. 
uh, the water sign is the air can move the water you in the ocean it switches it back and forth and makes it turbulent so if you're in a relationship with a gemini even an aquarius and you're a water sign it doesn't really work out because that relationship becomes turbulent they make you feel uneasy because of their actions or things they say or things that they do so they make you feel uneasy so that is not the best zodiac sign for a pisces cancer scorpio water sign to be with i never pick air signs because they're too turbulent for the for the water sign all right but never fret because i see someone coming in so the person that is thinking about you because this is the reading of who's thinking about you is your ex okay that's the person that's thinking you got two people thinking about you you got the old one and the new one coming in so this person is thinking they are reflecting on what happened, wondering how you're doing, where you're at, and things like that. I don't see them coming back in. I just see them remaining in that space where they're just thinking. Okay, so here we have the King of Cups. This is a new person coming in. This is another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you see how he's sitting on his throne. And even though the water behind him is turbulent, and I, I see a sea monster back here. That represents a sea monster to me. Look at the face. And no matter what's around him, this person can remain calm on his throne. Again, he has a power stick holding it up. So he's got self-control, self-power, and he's coming in with a cup of love. So right, right here, he's telling you that no matter what the conditions are, he's still coming in to offer you this cup of love and he's willing to make it work. He moves slow. He doesn't rush in and rush back out. And you see how the feet are pointing in different directions. One's over here, one's over there. So he's pretty well balanced. He's balancing himself on this rock, even though this rock is being waved back and forth by the water. It's moving him. He does not move. He is standing still, sitting still because he's balanced. He's able to balance himself on, the, on this position. Hold on, my dog is barking. Tank, get over here. What are you barking at? Get over there, right now. There's nothing to bark at. Sit down, little little dog. <laughs> okay, sorry, y'all. Um, no. Quiet. I'm doing a reading. Quiet. He's growling. He hears something at the door. Anyway... So, yeah, this person is real balanced, and they're also balanced with their finances, and um, they're, they have a steady job. And in the midst of everything that's happening, this person, you can't move him one way or the other. He is confident, and he stands strong with his beliefs and morals, and, and he is a king. So he sits like a king. He is the king. So he is coming in. He's coming in to swiftly also because here is the Ten of Wands. And this is the beginning of new love. You see how the wands are flying through the air. They're not just moving slowly, but they're flying through the air. So this person is rushing in. I see another person rushing in. Okay, there's also, I see the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio over here in this card. Hush tank. No. Let me put you on hold. I got to see what he's barking at. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. He was barking at the door, so I had to see if there's someone at the door because my puppy never barks, ever. So when he does bark, it's because he's really hearing something. But I looked out the door, and there's nothing there. So I do know that animals hear and see spirits. So that's maybe what he might be seeing and barking at. I don't know, but there's no one here. So, you know, maybe that's what he's barking at. Anyway, back to the reading. This is the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's coming in. But now with this card, I also see an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius coming in. This one's moving in slow and steady, but this one's coming in fast. Um, this card is the card of new love and enthusiasm. So I'm seeing this person rush, rushing in quickly. Okay, and if this one doesn't move fast enough, you might end up with this one. So, yeah, uh, also seeing travel. I don't know if you're going to be tr thinking about traveling right now. Nobody can travel. So um, I would be careful thinking about traveling or just moving about your town or city, wherever you live with, because of what's going on. But I do see this new love interest coming in quick. Okay. Um, I see that things will take flight like really fast, really fast. And But I do see happiness and pleasure with this card. So if you do get with this person, I do see that it will end up in, 
and you know happiness i don't know how long this will last because it is aries Leo, sagittarius they are the fire sign and um fire usually douses the water you are the water sign so i don't know how long that, that will last as well um but i do see new relationship with this card possible change of environment this person might ask you to marry them which would then lead to a possible change of environment they might ask you to move in with them or even if they don't ask you to marry them they might ask you to move in with them and it's gonna everything is gonna happen quickly those are for you that are unattached now if you're already attached i see some of you um renewing your vows and then i see some of you trying to move to a different environment whether it be your home situation or a, a a work situation or it could be schools as well yeah so i do see this card encourages that you move ahead forget about what happened here and here that no longer exists that's gone it's in the past don't think about it no more close the door on this energy and move forward with these people that are coming in here because both of them look really good um both of them have a uh, love interest in mind one is faster than the other uh, this one wants to move pretty quick that's why i say uh, be careful with that because usually when you move that fast it, it's that's a mistake i wouldn't move that fast okay yeah so anyway that is your reading for water signs pisces cancer scorpio who is thinking about you for this month of april 2020 y'all be careful out there we're still under you know the attack of the invisible enemy wash your hands wear your mask and if you don't have a mask there's a lot of tutorials here on youtube where it shows you how to make one we even without sewing if you don't have a sewing machine you can make one out of a scarf or whatever but remember put a filter in it if you're making one out of cloth it still has to have a filter in it you can use um uh vacuum cleaner bags cut them up and like little squares and put inside your cloth mask that acts as a filter i saw a video on it about a doctor that did that you can use coffee filters air conditioner filters anything that's a filter will filter your mask and keep the germs from coming in it won't be a hundred percent but it will be like 80 percent effective all right y'all so keep that in mind and you want you can google it and put 80 uh, you can google um here on youtube how to make a mask and they all pop up that's how i did it all right so thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye